Hey, what's going on guys and girls? Hard drive? Fine tune CB. Uh, let's see, where can we start this one? I had one of these, a video, taking them out of the box, the whole works. And then because my camera's back, back over to, to my left over here, you can't see the record light. So not to waste any of your time, my time. And stop recording. I had to do a low-level format to the disc, even though it ain't a disc, but you know what I mean. So anyways, I got to this point when I went to pick up the camera like I'm going to do here shortly to start filming. And I realized I wasn't recording. So here we are. They're already taken apart. Anyways, hey, Mr. Radio Man. Thanks, man. Oh, that's some badass stuff right there. I don't think that'll fit on my shop. would blow me over. Nice. Mr. Radio Man uh, does some tower stuff, too, so... You need to give him a call. Give him a call. All right. Hey, uh... 008. <laughs> yeah, it works pretty good. All right, let's get into this. I'm not no professional photographer by no means. So I'm going to try to get in, get you inside of these radios. They're two very popular radios. This this type of chassis is going to be around a while. This one's been around a long time. Slightly changed here and there, but not that much. This amp's going to be around too. But the topic of this video is... I've seen it many years ago. And I'm seeing it a lot now, whether I was open to the public and coast to coast. People are claiming they got new radios. I get them open and say, man, this is not new shit. I don't give a damn what you say or what they told you. I've been through a lot of radios. I know what they look like. So these are brand new. The lid's been taken off. I did it on film, but it didn't work. But here they are. So as we go through them, and you go through them and stop them and still them, blow them up, whatever. You might find some imperfections. You might find some little solder balls. You might find all kinds of shit. But anyways, that's why I go through them, each one of them, before I put the lids on. But you'll be able to take a good close look. Um, I got the camera set at the highest resolution it'll do. Yeah, I gotta put it in my little hand, my hand here and try to hold it and film it. So I don't have any equipment that does that on rails or anything you know so bear with me all right and again these are brand new this is what brand new should look like not like it's been worked on or it's been through the mill you know let me grab this thing here now okay hopefully i won't hit the button Okay, now we'll start with the amplifier on this uh, General HP-40. I did whisk it out. All right, There was tiny, minute little part, parts and pieces. But what I mean by whisking it out, I, I, I already cleaned that part out. So if we see more, it's just showing up. There we go. Let's take a good close look. Good lighting. Closer. That's what we look like. All right, brand new. Never fired up. Just straight out of the box. Even the echo board in this one was crooked. As you can see, pull out a little bit.
right, you will find at times some minute scratches on them. Nothing major, that's just from the lid. No, no gouges or anything. Let me set this down for a second. Put the lid on here. This is the circuit board side. We'll get a closer look at the back here in a second. Okie dokie. Let me uh, set this down for this radio. Safe place. 955. I'm going to turn it sideways though. Notice that didn't seem to work all that great. All right, 955. Let's take a look. Processor board, etc. Let's take a look at the back side of it. That's what they look like when they're new. It's brand spanking new. Okie dokie. Try to get a couple different views because when there's ever been an issue, it's usually in this area and over the regulator. If you have one in mind and they look cleaner, well, that's pretty normal. I do clean them up a little bit even when they're brand new. That's a brand new radio, straight out of the box. Okie dokie. I really don't recommend you guys opening them up and looking at them unless you're really familiar with opening radios. So many stupid little things can happen. And if you do, grab them on the outsides like this. Don't put your hands inside. Don't touch the wires. Don't touch any other components that are in here. This is surface metal, a little bit different than through hole, but anyways, you don't want to touch anything. No stress. No misalignment or out of adjustment. Don't touch nothing. Hold it on the sides. Okay? 
I'll run by the front, by the back, but don't touch nothing inside. If you're going to put the speaker back on, be careful that you get both prongs on. It's not all that difficult. Alright. I hope some of this is informative for y'all. If you're out there on those highways and byways, safety first, man. Be cool. Hard drive. 163, down by this Rio Grande, and I'm out of here.